This building is the focus of a report from U.S. Uh, cybersecurity firm Mandiant. They say uh, a hacking collective with direct ties to the Chinese military has stolen data from 141 organizations from around the world since 2006. A CNN true crew uh, tried to uh, roll their, their cameras through that neighborhood. And uh, this is what they discovered. This is our crew being chased by Chinese security officers. Chase after us just yet. Keep driving. Drive away. Drive away. Drive away. Drive away. Drive away. Not stop. CNN's David McKenzie is live for us in Shanghai with more. Walk me through exactly what happened as you try to get access to that building. Well, Soledad, you know, the security officers did say that, uh, yeah, well, they did say that uh, we shouldn't be filming there. They said it was a military installation of some kind. Uh, and as we got closer with the camera and drove past, they outran the vehicle and had a you know, relatively cordial chat and then uh, demanded some footage. And then we were on our way. But the, the bigger picture here, Soledad, really, is what is happening here. Shanghai, a major city in China, is the epicenter, says Mandiant, that Virginia-based security company of a major hacking ring. Uh, tens, if not hundreds, of hackers working in those buildings, they say, uh, attacking corporations, institutions, governments, particularly in the U.S., and stealing terabytes of information. Uh, the, the Mandiant group says that this, this group is working in conjunction with the Chinese military and the Chinese government. The Chinese government, not surprisingly, Soledad says that they have nothing to do with this. They call these claims, quote, irresponsible. The Chinese military saying uh, they also have nothing to do with the hackers. Is this just the next salvo in an information war, Soledad? We're going to have to watch this very closely. We're watching it very closely. CNN's David McKenzie watching it for us. Thanks, David. Appreciate it.